Assalamualaikum. My name is Nora Shira and I would like to present about the introduction of this experiment. From primary bridge to integrate structure, structural analysis engineering is essential to guarantee the stability and functionality of various construction. It is necessary to comprehend how structures behave under different loading scenarios while designing secure and practical facilities. One fundamental aspect of structural analysis involves the study of force within the truss system. The statically determined cantilever truss, a structure frequently used in engineering application, is the focus of this experiment. Straight members join at joint to create a statically determined and stable system forming the structural framework of a cantilever truss. The, dins, the distinctive solution for members force and responses that characterize statically constrained structures enable accurate analysis. The objective of this experiment is to investigate a statically determined frame and use basic pin joint theory in the frame analysis. For the theory, to determine the force generated in each truss component, one must establish the following assumption. A truss is construction of thin pieces connected at their end to create one or more triangle. Frictionless joint, pin joint regard the joint connection. First, frictionless pin, which are merely forced and cannot transfer a moment from one member to another, join the members at their end. Second, the truss only experience external load at its joint. Using the method of joint is one way to determine the force in truss member. For the procedure, the first one is un unscrew the thumb wheel on the redundant member. It was noted that it was effectively no longer part of the structure as an analyzed diagram illustrate. For the second is, uh, the second one is apply the preloaded pre 100 Newton downward, pre zero the loaded cell and carefully apply a load of 250 Newton and check that the frame was stable and secure. For the uh, third is return load to zero, left the 100 pre 100 newton preload recheck and re zero the detail indicator never look more than the specified on the equipment and last is apply load in the increment show in the table one recording the strength reading and the digital in indicator reading complete the table two for the sub tracing the initial zero strain reading and be carefully with with the sign. This is a result for force in a statically determined centrelever truss. For table 1 is a data strain reading and frame reflection for experiment 1. For the table 2, the data true strain reading for experiment. And we use the load 250 Newton uh, for Calculate each member, member 1 until member 8 to get the experimental force in Newton data and theoretical force Newton data. Also, we use the Young Modulus formula and road diameter to get the data. This is a data data analysis, uh, detail calculation to get the result for member one until member eight. For get the true strain reading and experimental force, the data exposition. This is a theory calculation uh, data to compare the experiment data. For this uh, theory, we use the joint method calculation. We calculate the reaction force and get the force joint by joint. The detail calculation is shown. For the back part of discussion in this experiment, we can see clearly 
for the trigram, we can see clearly that one has the egg member in this structure. So in the first discussion, we need to discuss is we need to compare the experimental and theoretical result. So that one has the egg members. So the experimental force and theoretical force we we calculate and we record in the table. We can see clearly for for example member one we get the experimental force in the rep is zero but we use the formula theoretical force we get is 250 newtons so moving on to the second question in the discussion from your result and the theoretical member force identify which member are in compression and which member are in tension we already tablet all the members and record in the table we can see clearly member once in the experimental is zero force member but the same and similar is the member six experimental experimental force is zero and the theoretical force is zero so member six is confirmed that there is the zero force member in this structure and Although the member we get the difference and slightly difference value in the experimental force and the theoretical force, but the nature of force is we get the same. Like member two and four, we get we use we get the experimental force is the compression in the lab, but we use the formula. We get also the same compressions in this experiment. Experiments. So, question three observes the leading of number five. Explain why the leading is a most zero. Then one is the free, like the simple free body diagram. Lah. We see, we can see clearly member five is connected, fixed support at A and the roller support at B. So based on the diagram, we can clearly verify that member 5 is connect each other. So by applying the met method of join, we need to use to calculate the structural analysis at the joint B. The vertical force acting is same as the zero. So the force FBA is zero newtons. So this one, where the member 5 is the zero force member. Now moving on question 4 in the discussions part a strain gauge are an effective transducers for measurement force in the framework strain gauge are effective transducers for measurement force in a framework this is because they want the strain gauge strain gauge is a uh, high sensitive to small deformations so it is just able to measure force in structure even in case where the deformation is minimal. So a strain gauge is a sensor that checks the resistance in response to force applied. When a force is applied to a structure, strain result from a structure is small deformations. The strain gauge electrical resistance checks the strain and it is linked to the applied force so that's why the force can be misused moving on to the question 5 does the framework complete with pin joint theory even though the joint are not truly pin joint yes the actual joint in the framework is often used as a simplified assumption to make the analysis of the structure the theoretical of pin joint is that the joint only allows the rotations and prevents for transfection. Based on the concept, it is easy to help in calculating the member force and analysis the structure and stability by applying method of joint framework compass with pin joint which is useful is useful to determine the reaction acting on support and shear force and force on is member in the structure. 
has been joined theory is still useful and accurate approximations even if the joint in a framework are not truly been joined. That's all for the discussion part in this experiments. So next the conclusion. From this experiment, my group successfully examined a statically determined frame and used basic pin joint theory analysis to the frame. We draw the conclusion that increased loading on the truss member causes an increase in deflection because of tension and compression. Consequently, we also draw the conclusion that the stain for both Vipicot and G9 strain value will rise when loading is applied. We also observe in this experiment that despite the joint is not being actual pin joints, the framework adheres to the pin joint theory. Therefore, in this experiment, the method joint can be used to calculate all, all of the member forces for the truss. A free body diagram of the joints with the equilibrium equation submission fx is equal to zero and fy is equal to zero is used in this method.